Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to make a pasta dish right now. It is a last minute dish. Um, so let's get cooking, alright? Hopefully you guys can um can do it too and you like it, alright? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use this type of pasta here. We have a prego sauce, we got capers, we have organic ground beef, three zucchinis, uh, onions. Bell pepper, I got like the orangey yellow kind, and then a whole lot of garlic. Look at this sucker right here. Love garlic. Now, I don't know what this pasta dish is going to be. I'm literally making this up as I go, but I do love to incorporate a lot of veggies um, with my meals. It's very good. Um, one of the good reasons, other than knowing veggies are good for you, is that you can eat more with less calories to worry about. So, that's the thing. So what do I have going on here? I opened the package already for you guys. I have water boiling. Now, got to put some salt. Oh, man. Just a little bit of salt over here. It's all right. You got to salt this a little bit, right? Okay. So it's already on. You see, like, a little steam coming up, right? Um, the water is going to boil. Now, in the meantime, while it's going to boil, what did I do? Oh, not only did I put salt here, but I also put coconut oil in here. And here is, is coconut oil, too. So, I'm going to turn on the heat here. About medium. I'm going to, um, add the onions, peppers, garlic, and then this ground beef. So I'm going to saute these three things first and then add the ground beef and let it saute with a little bit of salt. So um, give me a minute, I'll be right back and I'll show you when everything is in the pot, okay? Look guys, I added, I added the coconut oil which you saw, I added the garlic and I added the onions and the bell peppers. So this is just gonna, oh that's a big old piece that didn't get chopped up in there. Should I keep it in there? No, I'm gonna take it out. Yeah, I'm gonna take it out. <laughs> okay. So there you go. So I didn't add anything other than the, the, the coconut oil, okay? So now we're going to add a little bit of salt. A bit of salt in here, okay, and then I'm going to mix this up a little bit, and I'm going to add the ground beef. So give me one second, guys. All right, guys. So I added in my meat, I'm trying to mix it up a little bit, you know. So basically, I'm just gonna mix everything around. And I'm going to add some seasonings. Now, I didn't tell you about the seasonings in the beginning of the video, but I will tell you what I'm adding now. So, I'm going to add a little bit of cumin. Okay. Just open. I'm working with one hand here, guys. <laughs> All right. And I'll say about, I don't know, a teaspoon and a half, I guess. Okay. And gonna hit it with some oregano whippa dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oregano you can put as much as your heart desires I mean I don't know how much oregano you guys like but I like it um, and then we're going to add a uh, ground paprika pa did I say paprika paprika yeah I know what I mean man just a little bit you know make that little color now the water still is it boiling it Ooh, look at that steam um almost boiling so I'm gonna go ahead and put the pasta in a little bit I'm gonna mix this around have it like a really nice color and then I'm going to add the zucchini so I'm gonna dice these up for you guys and then I'll show you how they look like diced up Alright guys, so this is everything diced up. All the three zucchinis. Don't mind, this is just a spoon I got used the garlic. So now the water is boiling. I'm going to pour the pasta in there. 
see if I can do it one handed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> so. Mix that up a little bit for you guys. Okay. Let that boil. That's good. Now, the meat's here. The meat is here. Oh, look at that. Look at that, baby. It's still not cooked yet, but what we're going to do is we're going to... The, the step is almost done, guys. This is like a quick meal, okay? We're going to add the zucchini in here along with the pasta sauce and the capers, okay? I'll be right back and show you how that looks like. All right, guys, so the pasta is almost done. I'll say two minutes. You kind of want it al dente, right? And this is everything I told you guys, everything in one pot, all the zucchini, the meat, the pasta sauce. The only thing I didn't add yet was the capers, which I'll add almost at like the very end. I didn't add any other seasoning in there. I will taste it after a little bit. You know, I like to have all the flavors cooked together first. And I'm going to drain this in a minute or so. So, you will see the final product. And if I add anything else, I will let you guys know. Okay? There you go. Bon appetit, guys. Mmm. Alright, guys. I did add something else. My sister wanted a little bit of kick here. I added some red pepper chili flakes. So, um... Also, when I added the, the pasta sauce, I filled it up like a quarter way with water and I shook it up so I make use of everything and I poured it in here. That water that you see there is just a, a refill just in case if I needed more liquid for the pasta, but I think this is going to be good. But you see this? It's um, all the meat that I had here, a whole lot of garlic, onion, zucchini. And then the zucchini releases a lot of water too, so you don't need that much liquid in here. It's going to taste great, guys. Amazing. Alright, so I'll show you the final product. It's already time to take out the pasta. And then you'll see the end. Alright, guys, so I did say that was the last thing I was going to do. Um, I lied. <laughs> So I had a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I'll say like three tablespoons because I had leftovers. And if you guys don't know Flavor God, I mean, they're banging. Um, they're not sponsoring this video, just so you know. But they're good. And this is a cheese seasoning. Has no dairy. So if anyone's interested, um, almonds, garlic, yeast, Himalayan salt, white pepper. Anyway, I had like about pff, a tablespoon worth leftover. You can see I used this junk. And I just poured it all over. I like it. I'm not a vegetarian. I'm not a vegan. But there are days where I just want, you know, a veggie meal or a vegan meal with no dairy or whatever. So I use it and it tastes really good. So I just combined it here. But you see how it looks so far, guys? It's been on low heat for like 10 minutes so far. I'll say like 15 minutes and it'll be done. Like as soon as your zucchini are soft, like if you put a fork through it, then you know you're done. Okay, so now I will plate it for you guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the dish. Look at this cute bowl over here. Oh, okay. I know, right? This right here, the little owls. But anyway, so this is the dish right here. It's all done. I'm going to mix it in with the pasta. And I have my friend Crystal over here. Say hi, hi Crystal. She is going to be the taste test. So go ahead, grab a bowl. Okay. See if you like it. Now, she is not a zucchini person. Nope. She's not I'm a fan. Not. So mix everything together. And okay. then so all the flavors, you know, cooperate here. And this are the bowls for my sister, and she don't want to be in a video. So sick. <laughs> so here's your here's your bowl. Get out the way. <laughs> All right, Crystal. This is the taste test. See if it's you hot. like it. It is hot. Mmm. It's really good. Is it? You like it? Yeah. It has. It's very really well seasoned. Okay. I like it. It's oh, really good. good. You see? 
All right, guys, so there it is. I'll write it down in the description below, um, all the ingredients I use, and I'll be more descriptive in my writing than in my video because this was a last-minute thing. So enjoy, guys. Until next time.